Good morning, second graders. I am very much looking forward to drawing a campsite with you, with a tent, a three-dimensional tent. Look at you guys, you have worked up to doing a three-dimensional shape. I'm excited to do that for you. Um, and you, I, I believe in second grade, you guys were learning about different shapes. Uh, so that's great. Um, anyway, let's get started on this. So the first step that we're going to do is we're gonna do the top of our tent and it's just like a triangle, but because tents are made out of fabric, if you've noticed, if you've ever gone camping, it kind of bows in a little bit. So for the top of our triangle, instead of doing a straight line and then a straight line, we're gonna slightly curve it when we bring that line up and slightly curve it when we bring our line down, okay? So right here, we're gonna to go to this side of that line and we're gonna do a straight vertical line down to about here and a, the same length straight vertical line on the other side. We're going to go ahead and cut those lines off with a straight horizontal line and let's go ahead and make that into a very long rectangle. Line down, vertical line down, horizontal line across, vertical line up, okay? So the flaps of our, the outside flaps of our tent are open. So I go to that top point and I curve down. It's going to stop when you hit that rectangle down there. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side, okay? So you can just leave it open like that. But if you've been tenting, you know that there's some mesh to keep um, like the bugs out behind that first piece of fabric. So if you wanna do that, what you would do is you do a straight vertical line down, just like that in between. And then I do straight lines going this way. And I'll hold this up closer so you can see when I'm done. Then I crisscross them. And I do straight lines going this way. I do the same on both sides. So let me go ahead and show that to you. And this kind of gives uh, us uh, what looks like mesh. Now, if you just wanna leave it open and you don't wanna do the mesh, that's okay. Let me hold this up. Cool. All right, so now let's do the top of our tent. So the top of our tent is going to be going about like this, and it's going to be not quite a straight line. Again, we're gonna bend it slightly because we're dealing with fabric here. We're gonna to go to the tip top of this triangle that we did and do a soft curved line. It almost looks straight, but it's not. Okay, guys, it's not super straight. All right, so let's go ahead and do the same thing from this point here, and it's going to get slightly, it's gonna go slightly up and we're gonna curve a little bit. It gets narrower, meaning these two lines are closer together here than they are here, okay? Okay, so now we're going to do this same straight vertical line down from here, and then connect the bottom of that line to the bottom of our rectangle, this corner here, with a straight line. This one can be a straight angled line, down like that, okay? So this same curved line here, we wanna do that same curved line right here. We start from the top, and then we come out. Okay, you, oops, <laughs> that was my cat. She's messing around down there. So now um, let's go ahead. We just did a three-dimensional um, object, you guys. We did our tent. We did a, we did a um, triangle here, so that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and bring some. We always have these uh, cool ropes that attach and nail into the ground. So curve down from each corner. You can do a dot, okay, to, to indicate that nail or steak, I guess it's more of a steak, huh? Just like that. Okay, so we have our tent. Now, the landscape is up to you. What I do wanna see is I wanna see you do a horizon line, and you guys know that that's where the ground meets the sky, okay? So when we do our horizon line, it goes from one side of the paper all the way to the other. But when we get to our object, 
And I would highly suggest if you want a tree in there that's gonna go up like I did mine, you can see that I did my horizon line first so you see it through my tree, which we wouldn't wanna see it through the tree. So why don't we do a tree first? So we just can curve, We start, it's the same thing that we did with our tent. We curve down, I curve up. I'm doing uh, long zigzag lines. This on both sides. I connect with scallop lines and then I go ahead and I do a trunk down here. Now, I'm seeing something kind of funny here. My line is in the middle of our tr my trunk from the tent. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, be, if I was using pencil, this would be a lot easier. I could just erase that and maybe do my stake right here instead. And that's what I su would suggest you guys do. Okay, let's get our horizon line in. I went ahead and did a nice soft rolling hill in the background. So I wave up, I stop, you can air draw. I stop drawing when I hit my object, right? Oop, I hit another object and then I air draw when I see the negative space. You can do whatever sort of things if you're campground. I have a fire pit over here. Um, you could do chairs, you could do s'mores, you could have a deer in the background. I really wanna see you guys get creative. This is our uh, last full week. So have fun with this and I'd love to see you send me a picture of yourself smiling, holding up one of your projects. Um, if it's not this one, if you haven't gotten that far, then do another one, whichever one you haven't done yet, okay, and wanna do, um, because I miss seeing your smiling faces. Anyway, second grade, um, have a great, great day. Bye.